Alright YouTube friends, we're back at it with the last video of our color grading series and this one is going to be how to create a day for night. So it's basically taking your footage that looks like this. And then turning it into this. Filming your footage in the day and then creating a nighttime atmosphere for it. Let's hop into Adobe Premiere Pro and let's get started. We are working with some drone footage I shot um, probably about a year ago. And basically we're going from, um, again, you know, this daytime scene. This was uh, right after sunrise. And then we're going to create um, you know, more of like a moody tone for it. Now my experience with doing day for night um, is rather than trying to adjust um, exposure values, right? So rather than trying to just crank down your exposure, uh, maybe you bring down like your highlights. Uh, and then you can adjust your white balance, right? Making uh, making it cooler, stuff like this, right? Um, like right now, you can still see that since this was shot in uh, right after sunrise, the sun is still hitting all of this, um, all these areas of the clip. So all I did was, you know, if anything, I just kind of cooled down the shot. It doesn't look like this was um, nighttime at all, right? So instead, what you're going to do is you're going to create. Um, you're going to use some uh, color mats that we used in the past um, in the past video and then you're also going to adjust your uh, tweak around your color correction your exposure and stuff like that just enough so what we're going to do here I'm trying to keep this uh, video pretty short and concise for you guys I created two mats right the two mats that we have are a black mat and a blue mat so for instance let's go with the black mat first if I, I re-enable this layer okay all I did with the black mat was I created different masks. You can see them here. There's three different masks. The first mask, which is just the oval shape. Uh, you want to adjust the feather, which right here, it's all the way to a thousand percent. You adjust the opacity, you adjust the expansion, right? And then what that does is since it's a black mat, a black mat over this entire layer, right? is just completely black. So then what happens is delete that. What happens is when you create masks in certain um, shapes, all it does is it tries to kind of block out the exposure, so to speak, and it you know kind of darkens the image, but it's not actually adjusting the exposure of um, of the clip, right? It's just kind of creating a mask on top of it. Our second mask, I did the same thing for the middle, and then our third mask, I kind of just evened out some portions that I thought were a little bit too um, too bright, um, without having to uh, adjust the other masks that I created you know, like too much of a, of a larger exposure value, right? So that's the black mat. The blue mat, enable this guy, is I went ahead and changed the blend mode to overlay, All right? So this is what it looks like before, just you know, having the mat, and then adjusting the opacity and also the blend mode, right? You get kind of this, um, you know, bluish, kind of like a twilight, uh, a twilight tint to it, all right? So then we have our mats. The next thing we're going to do is adjust a couple of things for the metric color, um, white balance, exposure values, things like that. So if I re-enable Lumetri, you can see automatically that the exposure adjusts down appropriately. So even though it's a very dark image, um, it looks like this was shot at night. You can still kind of make out if you really wanted to nitpick and, you know, be that person. You can still nitpick that these areas of the grass and the terrain are still, you know, a little bit bright because of the sun. Um, but in general, if you were playing this clip in a sequence and creating your own story, right, going to the next clip, you can see that, okay, I can imagine this was, was shot um, at, at nighttime. You know, maybe it was um, an hour or two after sunset, right? So what do we do here exactly? We did is I adjusted my temperature down. Uh, you can see here, pretty much cool down the image. Um, the exposure, I dropped down by about three stops. The highlights, I dropped down all the way down. Nothing in the Creative tab, nothing in the Curves tab, nothing in the Color Wheel as a match, right? All I really did was um, adjusted the exposure appropriately. Um, you can also adjust certain things, like if you wanted to reduce some of the saturation, if you feel like it might be a little bit too much, right? Maybe that works for you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just reset this back to normal. And I still want some color, you know, in the sky, some color in the lake here. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to enable gamma correction, right? Gamma correction comes inside of Premiere, right? So if you search under your effects, 
and go to gamma correction. It's under video effects, image control, and then gamma correction, right? You can see what that does if I disable it and then enable it, right? It's almost like adjusting the gamma levels for it. So if you go from uh, basically from one all the way down, right? It's sort of, um, it's almost like adjusting the exposure of it. Right now this is too much because now you just can't see anything. Um, but if I reset this back to 20, right? You can see automatically that it does darken the image, but now it feels like, okay, this was like shot at nighttime, you know, like no doubt about it. Go into the second clip, Again, same thing, right? And then for this for this one, um, I just adjusted the exposure to 15 instead of 20, just to allow the uh, the shots to kind of match somewhat easier. But that's a quick and easy way to do uh, day for night. If you're creating a story or um, a series of sequences that you had to film um, during the day, there was no other way to go about it. Maybe that was um, a budget or a scheduling only day you could you know really film. Uh, was during the daytime, this is an easy way and a cheap way, right? Costs you nothing, you just need Premiere to be able to match uh, your daytime footages to your nighttime footages. And there you guys go, day for night made easy. Well, hopefully it was easy enough. The cool thing about Premiere and learning how to use masks, using how to learn to use color mats and all the different plugins is you can create really cool things for your videos, for your films, um, for you know the stories that you're trying to tell all without a big budget or with any budget at all. So I hope you guys found this little series of color grading useful. Uh, if you have any questions in regards to anything, orange and teal, sepia, day for night, um, any tips I didn't go over, feel free to leave a comment down below so I can answer them for you directly. If you guys are gonna follow me on Instagram, go ahead and go to instagram.com slash at David Lee. You can keep in touch with me that way. DM me, engage in my recent posts. Um, hopefully you guys can find some inspiration for the content that you want to create and also the filmmaker that you want to be. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel just so you're notified of new content coming out. And remember friends, every day you have an opportunity to create your experience and to write and tell your own story. My name is David Lee and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video.